All right, folks, Eric from Belgrade Beat here, and this is my video review of Sokobanya, a spa town um, about 250 kilometers southeast of Belgrade. So basically, I decided to come here because I was living uh, between Airbnbs in uh, Belgrade while I find a new apartment to live in, and um, I noticed this deal. I, I thought of Sokobanya, checked how much it would cost to come here for the weekend, and I found a place called Villa Vlasta, which is only 750 dinars a night, folks. Which is, you know, it almost almost costs you money not to sleep there. So I booked it and came on the bus. The bus from Belgrade return ticket cost about 2,300 dinars. So we're, we're looking at 12 euros for two nights accommodation and about 20 euros for uh, transportation here and back. So, my first impressions, I was here since last night, and my first impressions is that this is a place where you should come if you want a touristic experience that is just Serbian, you know? You don't want to go anywhere with any other tourists or anything. I'm pretty sure I'm the only foreigner in town here uh, as such uh, right now. Um, so yeah, it's a nice, very relaxed vibe. The hills around the city are beautiful. And um, the, the uh, air is really clean. And there's even a hospital for he healing respiratory Ill illnesses here. So if you want to clear out your lungs, clear out your mind, clear out your body, this is a good place. Um, I'm currently off alcohol because I drank too much last month. So this atmosphere, this sort of family, green, nice atmosphere is perfect for... Uh, what I was looking for, for a weekend of relaxing and getting back to myself. So yeah, I mean the restaurant selection, kind of limited, you know, there were only like two restaurants in this entire city that are on TripAdvisor and all the reviews were in Serbian. Uh, so if you want a uniquely Serbian sort of getaway, there's nothing international about this place, there's nothing like even that it's, uh, you know, you won't hear any English here. Maybe some of the people in the stores speak it and stuff. But if you just want a place to relax without any expectations of luxury or anything like that, this might be Sokobanya for you. Very cheap, you know, good value for money. Nice and historical, lots of historical sea. There's this hammam, Turkish baths, which I'm gonna visit later on today. And um, yeah. I mean, it's a Serbian spa town. If you want that, come here. It looks like it. Um, very low profile, very um, nice, just nice. And I don't know what else to say. So folks, I'm gonna go climb up some hills outside of the city now. And um, maybe I'll do another update like this uh, at the end of the day, or maybe I've given you the gist of what is Sokobanya. Thanks a lot, folks. Talk to you later. <sighs> well, this seems to be the end of the line, folks. Uh, I've climbed up to the medieval fortress, Sokograd, which, uh, yeah, quite majestic. About half an hour walking uphill. I don't know, could have been less, could have been more. I could check the time of the last video. But, yeah, um, Sokograd, yeah. Really nice. And this right here is what Serbia is all about or at least south of Belgrade. Um, these sorts of rolling mountainous hills that go for as far as the eye can see and you know, nice little villages in the middle of them. This is true Balkans, true Serbia, Sokobanya. Oh man, it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's a, uh, there's a road that goes about 10 minutes walking from where I was, maybe 15. And then it's all foot uphill through rocky sort of ter terrains. There's a church on the way, you can see all this beautiful stuff. But this is beautiful, folks. This is what I adore about Serbia, how you find so much untouched nature, so much real lush greenery, nice hills, interesting landscapes, and so untouched by tourism, you know? So if you want to try coming to a place like this, it's not for the faint-hearted. The way up is pretty, well, I call it moderately difficult. It's not like climbing up a real Al Al Alps mountain. But um, let's just say, yeah, it's worth the climb to Sokograd.
Yeah, folks, so uh, here's the room that I'm renting for six euros a night. Not bad, there's all my stuff on the table there. Um, six euros a night. Who can complain? There's the door that locks, there's a window that closes, <laughs> there's a bathroom down the hall that you have to share with other people. But six euros a night, come on. Who can't afford that? Anyways, uh, <clears throat> one thing, yeah, when I was reading the reviews on the website about this, this villa, Villa Vlasta, uh, one of the reviews in Serbian said, better than expected. And that pretty much sums it up. This place was better than I expected. So, yeah, one thing which was not better than I expected, <laughs> the old Turkish baths in Sokobanya. The uh, hamam, as they call it. Um, if you're from Sokobanya and you're watching this, as I'm sure some of you will, tell me where I went wrong. I went in the city center pedestrian area, five, five minutes away from this accommodation, by the way. Um, and um, I walk in thinking that I'm going to walk into the old Turkish, beautiful old architecture, you know, looks really old and stuff like that. And I was going to have, a, you know, nice time. No? So I walk inside. They said, oh, the men's section is closed. You can use the women's. Okay, sure. And I paid 450 dinars. And... What I got is to go inside a place with a pool of water that was kind of warm, and I was the only one there apart from some old man who was getting his butt massaged, uh, and uh, that was it. Nice old architecture, kind of falling apart, pool of warm water, a shower, yeah. So that was my experience in the hammam. So tell me, if you're from Sokobanya or if you've been here, where's the place to go for, you know, I was expecting to have like a steam room, sauna, you know, like chicks in bikinis, I don't know, whatever, but not this empty room, pool of water, old man getting his butt massage thing. So that sums it up, Sokobanya. Nice place to go. If you want peace and quiet. I didn't check out the nightlife last night because I'm kind of here to get off the booze a little bit. But um doesn't look like there would have been much. Doesn't look like it's a young, lively place where people go out. Uh, looks kind of dead at night, family place. Everyone goes to sleep. So if you're into that, come here. Uh, if you want something a little more lively, not here. So that's pretty much it. But this Villa Vlast, a really good value for six euros a night only six euros a night anyways i'll put the link in the description and i went to a restaurant by the hamam it was pizzeria hamam last night that was crap well it just wasn't great but um I, and tonight i went to pizzeria love which is a little out of the pedestrian area but it was great great pizza at pizzeria love what else to say very Serbian. And the other thing that I noticed about this place is that um, none of these things you see everywhere else in Serbia, like Maxi and Idea and all these chain stores, just not happening here. It's all independent businesses, independently owned, as far as I can see. It's hard to even find a bank machine, although there are two that I found right across the street from each other in the pedestrian machine. But really, like, independent, sort of back to the roots of the culture, Serbian sort of spa town so come here if you want a place where you know you're not going to run into other tourists from other countries thanks a lot peace guys uh eric if you like this sort of thing uh subscribe sounds like i'm talking to myself hey eric subscribe to your own channel okay hey you whatever your name is if your name is goran milos uh john subscribe yelena subscribe all right bye